Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com, back with another Bench of Monday. Not quite on the bench today, but we're at the desk. And I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about uh, bench programming and what I see a lot of lifters doing, uh, and something I think they can improve upon. And that's benching with too many reps with a competition style bench press. What I mean by that is benching anywhere over uh, five reps or so with a competition style setup. So you're getting your full arc, you're including your leg drive, everything you would do in a competition, um, if you go wider with your hands, all that. Um, now when I do a competition style bench press, <clears throat> I'll usually keep it re relatively heavy. Um, not always super heavy, but <clears throat> at least I'll keep the reps down. Uh, never over five. Now. The reason being is because when you get a competition style setup, you're not as much working the upper body, uh, you're working everything. So it's a total body movement as I stressed over and over before. You're including your leg drive, you have an excessive arc, you're, you're purposely trying to cut down range of motion. It's just not an environment that's great for growing the upper body um, using reps. Because when you're using reps, you're going more for that hypertrophy effect. Um, the competition style bench press is more or less best set up to go heavier on because then you're working more the movement um, and stressing with that heavy weight. I think if you've tried to do a lot of repping in a competition style bench, you're not going to see too much results from that. Um, but it depends, everyone's a little bit different. I have a very excessive arc. My competition style setup is very different from a flat type of setup. A lot of people, their competition style setup pretty much is a flat style setup and they already don't have much leg drive to begin with. But for someone that has very good technique, they can get in a pretty good arc, they get a lot of leg drive, I would keep that competition style benching to five reps or under and I would keep it pretty relatively heavy. Now if you're going to work, I'm not saying high reps is bad, high reps is great, great for hypertrophy, great for growing. So if you're going to do high reps, I stress to you that you take away that competition style setup and go to something more like a feet up bench, uh, more of a flat flat back bench. All right, whether you're using a uh, duffel bar or whatever bar you're using, just keep uh, the leg drive a little bit less out of it there and just get a more flatter setup. So you'll be working your upper body, stressing the upper body more so, okay? Because a competition style setup really isn't set up to stress the upper body. That's training a movement. You want to be able to train that uh, heavy and you want, to, you want to keep that relative to how you're going to perform, which is a one rep. So if you're going to do higher reps, I'm not saying that's bad. That's not the purpose of this video. If you're going to do higher reps, I just stress that you do some kind of feet up variation, something that really isolates the upper body. Because I've seen time and time again that higher reps with a competition style setup for someone that actually has a good competition style setup isn't always the greatest thing. So I just wanted to share that tip with you today. All right, so if you're gonna bench with a competition style setup, keep it the five reps or under. I think you'll see much better results with that. Keep it a little heavier. And if you're gonna do the higher reps, keep this something that's more of a feet up variation. It's gonna stress the upper body. Very simple, quick tip for you on this Bench of Monday. Uh, I'll see you guys next Bench of Monday. I'm Coach Ben. Shoot me an email, coachben at bigbenches.com to learn more about our online coaching program. People are getting stronger and so can you. I'll see you guys next time.